That's the theme. The theme is about seeing yourself as Christ sees you, as God sees you, accessing and identifying with that Christ that is inside of you. Um, and if it's not there, we need to make sure that you understand that it's there. Remember when Jesus took his disciples to Caesarea Philippi and he said to them, who do the people say I am? And uh, this is going to be my first message back um, in a couple of weeks, three weeks to be exact. Um, so I won't go into it too deep. But he says, who do the crowds say that I am? And the, the stuff that, he, that they tell him is really kind of silly. It's, it's kind of ludicrous, the, uh, the stories. And, and then he says the important question, but who do you say I am? And Peter just, well, Simon just jumps right up and he says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. He, in his mind at that moment, has settled the issue forever. He has that firmly in his mind. But Jesus doesn't just rest there and say, oh good, I'm glad you finally got me. He says, and I tell you that you are Peter. You are a rock. You are solid. You have it. You understand who you are. So he identified himself with Christ by knowing who Jesus was and having it firmly settled in his head. And then Jesus turned right around and gave him a gift and said, yes, but I need you to know who you are. And guess what? He was still Peter a couple of weeks later when he denied Christ three times. He was still Peter when he just went right back to fishing after Jesus died. He was still Peter as he was just hanging out in the upper room not knowing what to do with himself. He was still that identity because God put that identity into his mind of who he was. And that's, if you don't have that, you're going to get it. We're going to work on you until you get it. Because you need to understand, first settle who Jesus is in your life. And then settle who you are in his life. That's important. That's the power to live. First settle who Jesus is in your life, in your heart. Get it settled. Get it settled. Figure it out. Get it settled. Then figure out who you are in his life, in his eyes. And see yourself that way. God didn't make junk. So if you see yourself as a lowly worm, then you're disagreeing with God. If you're accusing yourself, I'm a bad person, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, you're identifying with and agreeing with what Satan says about you because the word says that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. So you're not only doing his job, but you're not getting paid for it. And you're missing it. Why don't we say the sinner's prayer and get zapped to heaven? Because we have a job to do right here on this earth. And that is bringing God's kingdom to the earth and doing his will. So we're here and we get the opportunity to get it done. And I happen to think that the difference between you getting it done and not has to do with how firmly you've settled in your mind who he is and who you are in him. Because the devil's a punk. He's just a shadow. He's just a vapor. All he can do is throw thoughts in your mind. So don't listen to those thoughts. Don't believe those thoughts. 